Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 90 of the year 2019 restructuring the General Organization for Social Insurance Board of Directors. The organization's board of directors has been restructured with Mahmoud Hashim Al Kohiji as president and the following as members Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Ahmed Zayed Al Zayed, Sabah Salim Al Dosiri, Mohammed Ali Al Qaid, Amina Ahmed Al Rashid Al Rumehi, Dina Ahmed Al Faiz, Khalid Mohammed Najibi, Arif Ahmed Hijris, Sonia Mohammed Janahi, Suad Mohammed Mbarak, Usama Salman Hassan Mohammed, Mishal Ali Al Hilu, Mohammed Ibrahim Al Bastagi, Dr. Malala Jafar Al Hamadi, for a four year term renewable only once. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Verman on his country's national day. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his country's Independence Day. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, on the Sultanate's National Day. His Royal Highness, the Premier, also sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Sayyid, on this national occasion. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, also sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI on Morocco's Independence Day. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said, on his country's National Day. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Deputy Prime Minister for Cabinet Affairs, His Highness uh, Saeed Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said. His Royal Highness, uh, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his country's independence anniversary. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also sent a similar congratulatory cable to Morocco's head of government, Saad al-Din al-Uthmani. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa, attended the final day of Brave International Week organized by the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, and in cooperation with the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the IMMAF. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and first Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the national teams winning 14 medals in the championship's second place. His Highness stated that the national team's achievement is a historic one and was a result of the support of Bahraini sports received from His Majesty the King, which provided MMA with the suitable environment that increased the achievements the sport made in a short period. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that His Highness Sheikh Nasser's support had a vital role in making this world achievement as a result of his development of Bahraini sports. He affirmed that extensive efforts have been exerted to create a powerful Bahraini MMA team through developing a clear and professional strategy to make outstanding achievements. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the national team players who won medals in the championship, wishing them success in the next participations.
His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today viewed a second World War era submarine Silver Spitfire, which landed in Bahrain as part of Around the World Expedition. His Highness Sheikh Isa highlighted the strength of historic ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, noting that the strong partnership between the two kingdoms continues to advance across various levels. His Highness Sheikh Isa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed were given a brief on the history and make of the iconic British fighter jet and its role in use during World War II. The short-range high-performance interceptor aircraft embarked on a round-the-world expedition earlier this year and is set to visit approximately 30 countries, Bahrain being one of the destinations. His Highness Sheikh Isa welcomed the pilots to the kingdom and wished them success in their voyage. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozia Zena, received the former President of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Harris Sladjic, which were where they discussed means of enhancing joint cooperation between the two friendly countries and people and supporting uh, parliamentary work and joint friendship committees. Zena affirmed that tolerance and coexistence are the guarantee of stability and development for the world and promoting the principles and values of pluralism, accepting others and cultural diversity in accordance with civilizational and legal practices is the best way to a safe and secure life for all. She noted that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, made tolerance and coexistence a holistic concept according to a well-established national culture. For his part, the former Bosnian president hailed Bahrain's development in various developmental fields led by His Majesty and His Majesty's vision that supports tolerance and coexistence efforts, as well as establishing the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, which made Bahrain a pioneer in this field. He affirmed his country's pride in Bahrain's stances that support the Bosnian people, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity.
The Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, where the council approved the recommendations of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee on a draft law amending Article 24 of Decree by Law 39 of the year 2002 regarding the fiscal balance. It also approved the recommendation of the Services Committee on the Representatives Council solution regarding a draft law adding a new item to paragraph B of Article 24 of the Law 19 of the year 2006 on regulating the labor market. A ceremony was held at the uh, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Park in Awali, marking the World Diabetes Day. In the presence of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Health Minister Faiqa bin Saeed Al Saleh. The or it was organized by Bahrain Diabetes Society, Bobco, and the Southern Government. More in this report with Mohammed Youssef. The World Diabetes Day is an event that marks the importance of this topic, in addition to raising awareness and encourage families to take preventive measures and undertake early detection. Today's event is around celebrating the World Diabetic Center, uh, along with the cooperation with the Ministry of Health and the Bahrain Diabetic Society. Awareness is such an important issue when it comes to the diabetes because diabetes is becoming now like an epidemic and it's our job as part of our corporate social responsibility in Babco uh, in line with the directive of the WISE leadership in ensuring that we have sustainable uh, growth within our beloved Kingdom of Bahrain that we contribute with this awareness campaign. The event commenced by a walk marathon and then the audience held a tour around the SCH Health Exhibition. The exhibition stresses the crucial role of the family in promoting prevention from the disease. Diabetes International Day is the 14th of November uh, and it's very important to spread awareness in uh, families, especially in families because diabetes is one of the very serious diseases internationally. Especially in Bahrain we have to take care of uh, diabetic people and with the Bahrain Diabetes Society and the BAPCO support because it's our corporate social responsibility, we're always supporting those events. We are celebrating uh, World Diabetes Day, which is an, a global uh, day. Um, and uh, by this event, uh, we are promoting um, uh, health and encouraging people around here in different age uh, uh, to do uh, exercise for a healthy uh, uh, diet and um, to protect themselves from diabetes and chronic uh, diseases. The World Diabetes Day focuses on raising awareness regarding the alarming increase of the prevalence of diabetes in Bahrain, which has health, social and economic repercussions on the community and threatens national sustainable development. Holding such an event uh, on this day at kind of brings the community together uh, to support those people that suffer from diabetes. Um, such a day uh, that was named especially for people with diabetes, it helps the people come together, support them, show them that they are not alone. Uh, it gives a lot of or raises the morale of patients with diabetes and that is what we're trying to achieve on such a day. The event also highlights the efforts exerted by the GCC Committee in combating chronic diseases, drawing up policies and launching unified strategies, including the 2011 to 2020 GCC plan to combat non-communicable diseases. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. The UNESCO selected the Kingdom of Bahrain to represent UNESCO's global network of UNESCO-affiliated schools due to the great interest of Bahrain's affiliated schools by the Ministry of Education through continuous training of school coordinators and periodic follow-ups and encouragement by the minister. Student Lean Hamad Al Khalifa from Ibn Khaldun School represented the Kingdom of Bahrain in a discussion session that was held on the sidelines of the 40th General Conference of the UNESCO on the occasion of the celebration of the award of the Japan Award for Sustainability. Sustainable development. Also present were Director General of the organization Audrey Oslai and Japanese Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology and the Minister of Education Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi as well as the winners of the award in addition to a large number of officials from UNESCO and delegations from member states and more than 400 officials and members of the national committees. Lina Al Khalifa was chosen to represent the kingdom for her keen interest in climate change issues and her school's excellence and 
and efforts to achieve sustainable development goals and work for the climate. The student participated with three representatives of a number of global youth associations concerned with climate and environment and answered questions related to her experience in this field. The representatives expressed their appreciation for this high performance and the participation of the Kingdom of Bahrain in this event that is representing the countries of the world. The Minister of Education then honored the student and affirmed expressed pride in this honorable achievement.